Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to mine TurtleCoin using your AMD or Intel based CPU. So TurtleCoin is a cool little uh, project. I like it because it's CPU mineable um, and you can mine it with basically any uh, machine. It's a coin is quite a low value, which means that you can mine quite a lot of them. So you can build up quite a nice little um, stack. So that's one of the reasons why um, I quite like it. So it doesn't matter if you've got a low end CPU or high end CPU, you can still uh, pick up a couple of these and add them to your uh, altcoin bags uh, if you like. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's go on with it without any further messing around. So you can see here I've got the miner and I'll show you exactly how you need to get set up and run with this. So if we open up our browser, you can see I'm on the official TurtleCoin site. So it's turtlecoin.lol. From here, you can scroll down, you can download the various wallets. There's a few available for different uh, uh, systems and operating systems. So you can download the Windows wallet. If you guys don't want to install a wallet, what you can use is also a paper wallet, which is what I've done. So if we go to uh, turtlecoin.lol, and then if you go to forward slash wallet, it'll open up this page here. And here you can create a, uh, a paper wallet. So what it will give you is a turtlecoin address and a private key, which is what you obviously keep private. Uh, just to show you how that works very quickly, we get, click on create wallet. And then you can type some random keys in this box here. So we just type whatever you like. We just really mash up the keyboard, get a nice random sequence in there. The chance of anyone typing the exact same sequence are obviously uh, very slim. And it also uses uh, entropy uh, in any case. So it will be a random times a random. Uh, we click on generate. This is a little icon to kind of let you know that you're using or, or the address matches this kind of a symbol. So it's just an easy way to uh, um, identify your address. And at the top here, we have a public address, which is the one that you would use for mining. So you would want to copy and paste that into like a notepad. And then you've got your seed phrase of view key spend key. Uh, the view key and spend key, you probably won't need them, but it's probably a good idea just to record um, everything on here. And your seed phrase is what you'll be using to restore and access uh, your wallet so you want to keep that private but um, for this part here uh, yeah just just copy in everything and keep it somewhere safe if you want to use the paper wallet option um, I've already done that and I'll be using a different address but just to show you how that wallet part works next up we want to download the miner so the miner that we're going to be using to mine turtle coin is XM rig CC so it is uh, very similar to XM rig but it has a slightly different um, functions and formatting. There's like a, uh, a viewer and a dashboard that you use. I don't personally use that, but I just personally find that I get on better with XM Rig CC rather than the standard own XM Rig. I know that sounds a bit weird, but um, yeah, I just get on better with it than, than I do XM Rig on its own. So that's the money that we're gonna be using. So select the version that you want. Probably for most of you guys, you wanna be downloading this version. I'm using a slightly older version, but this XM Rig CC, the uh, current version is 2.2 .2 with TLS and GCC uh, Windows 64 version. That's the, the version that's probably most appropriate for you guys. So download that and extract it to a folder and then I'll take you on to the next step. So here's a minor folder and inside you'll see a few files that look like this. Um, I've got a few sample files set up here and ready to go. I'm gonna be using this uh, direct command line version. So effectively it looks like a notepad, but it runs as a command or it can also be run as a batch file. Um, doesn't really matter which way you do it. Uh, but we're using this uh, command line version option here. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the video description or just copy and paste the text that's within this. So if you guys wanna create your own version, uh, you can do. Um, yeah, and you'll be ready uh, to mine. So we open up this version, or we should, should I say, we right click and then we want to edit it. And inside it's gonna look something uh, like this. So what you guys want to do is if you just create a new notepad file, and then I'll tell you how to save it at the end, there's a special way of saving it that makes it into a command or a batch file rather than just a text file. But I'll break down the parts uh, for you. So we've got echo off, that's kind of relevant. It just basically tidies up the output. Then we've got the call to the miner. So we're actually using the XM rig daemon.exe. So not directly to the miner. Um, I've tried using the miner directly in the past and you kind of get errors and stuff. 
that might have been fixed in later versions, I'm not too sure, but if you do it exactly the same way as me, uh, you basically won't get any problems. So it's a call to the minor xmrig uh, xmrig daemon.exe. Then we've got the algorithm. So it's the argon2 and it's the chukwa uh, variant. Uh, also add in the variant, the chukwa variant. Some, so the minor will either recognize it or not recognize it, but it's better to have it in there. I've, like I say, um, I've had problems with X and Rig on its own using this chukwa variant, but this way I know it works and um, you won't get any invalid shares or anything like that. If you get any uh, invalid shares on a pool, um, something's wrong, so you need to um, correct it. So the next part is the donate level. There's an optional donation. I think it's set to um, a higher percentage. So donate level is the miner itself, how much they're getting in donation. I think that might be set quite higher, maybe up to 5%, so double check that. I've just got it set at 1%, so we've got the donate level there. And then we've got our pool options. So we've got dash O as in the letter O, and then the pool itself. So we're mining at turtleminer.rocks. Um, this pool supports many different um, coins and algorithms. Um, I really quite like it, it's a really nice interface and I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, the pool is 5003. So we've got the call to the pool, colon, and then the pool, that's a low difficulty port for CPU mining. Then we've got dash U, and then here we've got our turtle coin address. So this will be the same as the one that you created from your paper uh, wallet. So if we go back to the, so this will be this address here, your public address. So you're mining directly to your public address. There's no nicknames or user accounts or anything like that. Whatever you mine goes directly to your wallet address itself. So here we have our wallet address, like I just explained. Then we have dash P. There's no um, password field set. So uh, what we use for this one is uh, if we do W equals, and then this part here where I've got I5-6600, that's actually our nickname. So you can put whatever nickname you want there and it will just help you identify your mining rig. Um, so on this machine, I've got an I5. Oh. An I5-6600K, so it's just a CPU reference. And the last part is our threads count. So how many CPU cores we want to use or threads that we want to use for the CPU. Um, for stability, you want to use one less core or well, or one less thread than what your machine has. So this process is a four core processor. Um, so you could either use three cores or you could use six threads or you can use whatever option that you want. Um, if you take that part out, it will default to the maximum number of cores your machine has. So if you're not doing anything else with your machine, you can use all the cores. In this instance, I'm also using uh, Camtasia to record the screen. So I'm just going to use a less core count. So I'm going to use three cores. Um, actually, let's use one core just in case it messes up the, the recording here. Then you want to go to File. Oh, sorry, just at the end, one last piece. If you find problems with your miners, if they close and crash and you don't know what the reason is, you'll see like an error flash up for a second and it will disappear. Um, what you need to do is add on the very last line of your batch file or your command file, just add the text pause. And what will happen is when, if there's an error or a problem with the miner, instead of it just closing, the error will uh, happen but it will, the window will stay open. So this allows you to see what the error is and it helps you to kind of troubleshoot. So this is a good little tip to add in the, the bottom of your batch files. So to save uh, the notepad itself, go to file and you want to save as, and then you want to give it a name. So we've got the start turtle coin demo. And then at the last bit, you can either save it as a dot batch file or a dot command file, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. And then save as file type, make sure you save it as all files, otherwise it will get saved as .bat.txt, which won't be um, executable, you won't be able to run it. So make sure you set that. So command, all files, and save. And then we just minimize that text file. So now we've got our new command file, which is ready to go. So if we double click, we can start the turtle coin miner. So you can see it starts up, and basically it should look like this when yours starts up. So you can see that we've got our CPU up here. Uh, we've got huge pages is activated. That should come on by the font. Um, we're connected to the pool. You can see the pool port there. And it also tells you a little bit about the, um, the algorithm. 
And then you, what you will want to see, the most important part is you want to see accepted shares. So we'll leave that running for just a minute or two. We'll see those accepted shares come in and then um, yeah, that'll all be up and running, all looking good. Uh, let me just switch over to the mining port itself now. So like I say, we're mining to Turtle, um, it's miner.rocks, but it's the turtle, coin, the turtle coin part of that. So it's turtle.miner.rocks. Uh, if you go there, then you'll be able to see your stats and stuff. If you go uh, yeah, to, to the website and to track your details, if you go back and just grab your turtle coin address, so just select it and then copy it to your notepad, so Control and C. And if you look on this page here, if you scroll down, you can see your stats and payment history. And then here you just copy and paste it into there, your turtle coin address, go to look up, in this window here, you'll see your hash rate. Obviously, we've only just sort of started, so there's very little hash rate there. Your income over the last seven days. On the left-hand side, you've got balance on the pool, so that's balance pending payout. Uh, income over the last 24 hours, total payments, and then a few other different uh, metrics. Um, hash rate over the last 15 minutes, two hours, and 24 hours. So just make sure that all looks uh, right there. Further down, you've got your workers. So this is where I said about adding in your work nickname. So you can see here, we've just got the one machine. It's the i5-6600, which is uh, this machine here. And you'll see these metrics start build up. Obviously, as you start mining, um, they will um, level out effectively um, as you start producing some shares. So that's it. Um, payouts are done um, automatically. You can see there's a minimum payout of 1,000. I think you can reduce it or modify it. Not sure what the minimum payout is. Um, but if you're using a CPU to mine, it won't take you very long to get to that minimum power. Like I say, this is quite an easy coin to mine. Um, the difficulty is low, and like I say, the, the payouts are, are quite high. So it shouldn't take you very uh, long to kind of um, build up a bit of a balance. And just taking a look back at the miner there, you can see that we've now got these accepted shares. So that's what you want to be looking at. If you get any invalid shares or stale shares, something's wrong and you need to change it. Uh, you can also see the hash rate there as well. So just on that um, single uh, Core, we're getting uh, 1,931 hashes per second. So uh, maxed out with the CPU, I think it's about uh, eight and a half thousand um, hashes per second. So just uh, as a reference for you there. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it. I think I've covered uh, everything that you would want to know and need to know for turtle coin mining. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please, please, please give it a like. Um, Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I really do appreciate having you guys uh, involved as part of the community. Um, also hit that bell icon. Make sure you get uh, notified of my videos. Um, you won't want to miss any of the ones that I'm releasing in the near future. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.